Y'all, getting in shape, getting healthy, even losing weight is about so much more than the number on the scale. Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Athena Amoeba. Today, we're gonna be looking at my body scans and how they've changed over the last four months. So I'm a little embarrassed to show this, but I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, my body scans. And I didn't think I was gonna show you until I lost all of my weight, but you know what? Why not? It makes more sense for me to show you than it does for me to try to explain everything. So, here we go. Okay, so this is really embarrassing for me, but this is my 3D body scan of what I look like in January of this past year. This is a 3D scan of my body. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's embarrassing, um, but you know, I, I'm trying not to be ashamed of my body. Um, it's just, I guess to me, these feelings that are coming up are rooted in the fact that I let myself get to this point, you know, and I feel bad even saying that because I wouldn't feel that way about anybody else, but it's just not where I want to be personally, you know what I mean? Um, and so... I guess I'm just grappling with my own feelings, but this is the scan from the beginning of the year. Now, uh, in comparison, you could see the scan from my self a month ago. So this is my very first scan compared to the scan I did a month ago. There's a significant difference here. Obviously I have a long way to go, but there's a very significant difference. Then there's my original scan compared to the scan that I did just this past week. Um, as you can see, you could still tell a difference, but I also did, I didn't gain any weight. My weight actually remained exactly the same as it did from March, um, but, but I gained fat and I lost some muscle mass. And you could tell that in my hip area um, compared to last month so now let me compare those so now we're comparing the scan that I did at Mar in March which was the end of my 60 day challenge um, compared to the scan that I just did this past week <laughs> um, and you can tell that I did gain some fat mass back actually I do kind of look smaller from this perspective. So, yeah, these are my 3D body scans. <laughs> now, there are also, this is body shape, the other thing I want to look at is body composition. This is comparing myself from March to now. So, um, my body fat percentage was 41.43 in March and now it's 44.99 so I did come up 3.6 percent in body fat percentage and as you could see here my weight I only gained 1.1 pounds since March but I gained 7.3 pounds in fat and I lost 6.2 pounds <laughs> in lean mass in just one month and that was because I didn't work out at all uh, in the last month. So that's why I'm starting to work out again. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share this because it's about way much more than the weight. As you can see, my weight is almost exactly the same, but what a big difference this is. And I also want to show my original, so let me go back, let me go back to the original, um, my original scan compared to now. If I do my original scan compared to the one that I did this past month, there's a big difference there. My starting body fat percentage was almost 50%. I was almost 50% fat, which is like crazy, crazy to think about. Now I'm 44.99, which is honestly still almost 50%, but um, it's not quite 50 as this one was nearly 50%. Um, I lost 4.4% in fat percentage. Um, yeah, so my body fat percentage went down um, 4.4% since January when I started. My weight went down 14.6% since 
So, hey, that is still a victory to me for sure. My fat mass has gone down as a whole 15.6% because my original starting fat mass was 101.6. Oh, and my original starting weight was 205.7 and now I'm at 191.1. So yeah, significant changes since the beginning of the year. Still going in the right direction. I just, that's why I had to get back on the horse because I was starting to um, go back the wrong way. Um, lean mass, I started off at 104.1 and now I'm at 105.1. Now let me show you the difference between my original and the one that I did in March when I ended the challenge. I had a lot more lean mass. I had oh, 111 pounds in lean mass and only 78.7 pounds in fat mass. The difference was 22.9 pounds and I lost 15.7 overall. So yeah, you can see it's it's about more than just the weight, the weight loss. There's so much more to it, and that's what these scans have taught me. Um, while I'm pretty embarrassed to share these scans with you guys, because um, they're not flattering <laughs> to me by any s stretch of the imagination, I just want to show you guys like the truth. And um, oh, and let's just take a look at my measurements really quick too. So this is still my original measurements. This is when the challenge ended. My waist was 40. Uh, my waist, my waist was 40 inches when I started, and at the end of the challenge was 34.2. That was a six inch difference. Now it's 39, so not not much of a difference now, um, actually, which is crazy because I'm still 15 pounds less. So I don't know. It's just wild how all this works. But I am. There is still a significant difference in my hips. Um, let's see what else. My arms, I feel like there's a big difference still. Maybe not as much as I thought, but maybe originally. Yeah, there was a bigger difference at the end of the challenge than there is now. Um, legs, perhaps? my legs are also still basically the same. So it seems that as of now, the biggest difference is in my hips um, compared to when I started. So like are in this general area. But I do feel like even looking at the scan, I feel like my arms do look smaller even now. So um, yeah, these are my measurements. There's a difference in my measurements, but the biggest difference really lies in my body fat per Percentage. Yeah, those were the results from my body scan. As I said, I was a little embarrassed to share that with you guys, but I decided to share it because it's about so much more than just a number on the scale. As you can see, my weight is almost exactly the same as it was a month ago when I had just finished the 60 day challenge. But there's a huge difference there in terms of my body fat, um, my lean mass, my measurements. So it's about so much more than just a number on the scale, which is motivating me to keep going. Because if I work out every day, if I make it a habit to work out every day, if I make it a habit to eat better, even if I'm not seeing it on the scale, I'm excited to see what my scan next month is going to look like. So that's motivating me to keep going. Please don't get too hung up on the scale. I am one of those people that weighs myself almost every single day, but I use it as a gauge um, to kind of remind myself that I need to have healthier habits. Like if I see it start to go in the opposite direction that I want it to go, I reel it in. Or if I see it going in the direction I want it to go, I'm like, all right, I keep going, keep doing what I'm doing, right? So for me, I use it as a gauge. It's not the end all be all. And this scan has really shown me that there's so much more to it than just the number on the scale. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that's helpful for you guys out there. Um, I wish I could tell you where you could get a 3D scan. Um, my gym does it, my gym has this, so maybe you can ask your gym if they have uh, one of these scanners or find a gym in your local area that has one. Because yeah, it does make a difference um, to see the changes that your body is going through when you work out, when you exercise, when you eat well, because it's about so much more than just the number on the scale. So that's my starting point for this month. We'll see what my scan next month looks like. I hope that was informative, educational in some sort of way. I'm sorry if I, if my own body shame is triggering to anyone else out there. I'm just processing my own feelings. I have no feelings about other people's bodies. I don't think anyone should be ashamed of their body. Um, 
but you know it's just me processing through all of the stuff that's been projected onto me and um, I'm working through that I'm doing everything that I can to work through it including trying to get healthier so <laughs> I hope that this is helpful in some way educational transformational and until next time y'all sending you love and I hope that you love yourself today as you put in the work to be who you want to be tomorrow much love